now you said you're you're in the business. You know, you and JC are are running your guys' company together. It, yeah. How how has that been? You know, we have a lot of um, kind of couple founders, you know, that are doing the business together, and it's just interesting to see the dynamic there. Has it been um, tough? Has it been amazing? I'm sure, kind of both. Like, talk to me a little bit about that of you guys working in the business together. I was gonna say a walk in the park. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, how do you answer that? Like, if you're, and by the way, my husband is like in in the next room. So I'm like, I'm trying to be, just kidding. <laughs> no, um, it has been like all sorts of ways, I think, in the journey. You know, it has been from um, super exciting and like feeling super understood because not only like, you know, you get to go home and like, if I'm having a bad day, like he knows I'm having up. So like, you don't have to go and explain yourself that you're having a bad day, which, you know, it's kind of tough. Yeah. Especially a business owner. Um, if you have your spouse, you know, like just it, like just meeting with you or for the first time during the whole day at the home, you know, after, you know, like you get out of like all these meetings, like that's that's really hard to like try to like now I'm the positive person, you know, like, yeah, who's had a crappy day. Um, now I'm the loving parent, you know, after like I've been yelled at or, you know, whatever that is in your day. So I think in, in, in sort of all all of the emotions, um, we quickly learned that. Um, we couldn't work together. And so like when we say that we work together, like we have very specific ways of working together. It's not like he's like my boss and he's like, you know, like he's yeah. telling me what to do. That is not something we can do because I'm a very detail oriented person and he's very vision. So like when he comes to me with like this great idea, so I'm like, so how are we going to accomplish this? And that kills him. Like that's the end of the conversation, right? So like we quickly learned that that is not the way to communicate, but it has done wonders for our marriage because we have to be more intentional about how we communicate. If it comes to me with this big idea, I know that me asking for the details right there and then it's going to kill him. And so that's, he's not going to bring those ideas to me again because he doesn't want to go into, hey, project manager, operations person, like ask, ask me what I'm missing here. He just wants to talk to his wife, you know, and or yeah. his partner in life. And he just wants to talk about this idea and dream a little bit. And so we have come up with this is sort of like saying, are we dreaming here? Or are we like, or do you want me to like, focus? yeah, you know? So, and that does wonders because then, no, I'm dreaming. I can listen to you without feeling that, how am I going to accomplish this? Because normally when we're in business together, it's like, okay, I'm the details person or somebody's a details person. I need to help you with all the details that you're missing because you're a visionary, right? Yeah. So that takes the weight off of me. Because then I'm not thinking, okay, there's a responsibility in this communication or in this exchange of ideas. There's not the responsibility on my side to like come up with all the details, you know? Um, so yeah, it, it has been, I think, a mixture of, of everything. Obviously, you know, like if you're going through like seasons of success, we celebrate. If you're going through seasons of, you know, like lack, then it's a little harder because then we are both lacking, you know, because we're both in the business yeah. together and we're both feeling the pressure. We don't have, you know, like, oh, like Karen has another job, you know, that she can go and just like, sure, you know, like whatever happens to you, we're fine. Um, it, it's, it's so, yeah, I think it, it's it's a mixture and depends on, on the days. But I think for us, um, marriage, you know, like marriage is not or I guess divorce is not an option in our in our taste. Right. Like we don't have like just because of our faith background and who we are, you know, like just our belief system in our family. That's not an option. So. It it takes a lot of intentionality to um, take care of your marriage first as a priority and then business. Got it. I love that. Turn it up.